literally waited until I started vlogging to start doing the grass outside. But either way, good morning guys, good morning, good morning. It's me, Malu Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. We're vlogging this weekend. I had plans to vlog um, a few weeks ago now, but I started getting a chemical peel mid-vlog and it just got off the rails. So we're starting back with the vlog today. It is Friday. Clearly, I'm in a really good mood. I have so much to update you guys on. We are in my new kitchen, in my new apartment. We have officially moved into the correct apartment. I'm so excited. You can see my sign, my neon sign. Everything is up. Got my little Malibu sweatshirt. Got some hauls coming up. That is my ring. Is someone outside? Okay. Um, anyways, but yeah, so we're vlogging. I'm really excited. Welcome back. Thank you guys so much. Um, I was going to do like a little life update kind of video, but I asked you guys on Instagram and I mean, what you wanted to see and you guys uh, definitely wanted to see vlogs, so I'm going to kind of wrap a lot of things into vlog style. Um, still, like I said, I have some hauls because that was a big thing too, but I want to give you guys a life update. My sister is coming in town today. We're going to run some errands. It is one music fest this weekend, so we're going to go to a music festival. Um, you'll get some little peeks and stuff of the apartment. My birthday is next weekend, so definitely gonna have a lot of content, reels and stuff about that. But I'm just really excited. Um, biggest question is how are you? I'm doing amazing. I feel great. I look great. I like to leave. And it's just been a really good, I don't wanna say a week, so but like it's just been good. I'm in love with my apartment, like love, 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 love. Even to the point that I had like a little bit of like imposter syndrome which I guess I'll get to that later. Like, I don't know. It's just, when you see all the things happening that you want to happen and you ask for, it's like that it can almost be a little overwhelming and that kind of thing. Like, my business is doing really well and I love my furniture and my family's doing well and everything else. So I'm just in a really good headspace. So welcome to the vlog, guys. It's going to be a good weekend. If you're watching this, you already know I did good. Because y'all know how I am about vlogs. I start them. And the editing and everything gets away from me. So thank you guys for commenting on old videos. When I was AWOL for a little bit. Just checking in. Thank you guys for everybody who has sent me amazing messages. Thank you to all the women who have messaged me about going through similar situations. And dared themselves to me who did not have to do that. Thank you guys. Oh. <laughs> thank you guys for... The subscribers who went to my Amazon registry and sent stuff to my house. Matter of fact, no. I know this is a long intro. I don't even know. This is not an intro. This is the we're in the vlog. The vlog is happening. But I'm gonna shout y'all out because like, are y'all crazy? Caitlin. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Thank you so much for the gift. I have used it a million times. Um, Ashley, thank you so much for the gift. I have used it a million times. Uh, oh my gosh, I don't want to miss anybody. I'm trying to go through the list now. There were so many people. There was one I had to like return and reorder so the name isn't coming up. But you guys know who you are. If you sent me something off my registry, thank you. I want to know every time I got something and you guys wrote me notes, I cried. Enough of that. To the vlog. I love y'all. So I'm on the way right now to, clearly I'm in the car so the lighting's gonna be changing. But I'm on the way right now to um, Pretty Girls Get Waxed. If you I've done like a reel and stuff, so you guys have seen me go them before. Uh, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows today. God, the lighting is so weird. Um, I'm in that weird space because my birthday is next week. I'm in that like, I don't wanna call it the ugly space, but that weird space where I need everything done. But I like stuff fresh for my birthday. So I'm in like the week before. So I get my nails done next week. I'm getting my hair done, which I'm excited about because I'm doing something different. So I'm really excited for my hair. I need my eyebrows done. I need my toes, Lord. I need my toes done. <laughs> I need all that stuff done. Um, Y'all know I finished my laser hair removal, so luckily it's, I don't need like wax done or anything like that. But I just have some maintenance things that I will need to handle in the next couple of days. I'm trying to spread them out because it's not pampering to me when you have to like spend a whole day. I'm already getting my nails and my hair done next week in the same day, and I'm like, I'm gonna be sitting in a salon chair for eight hours. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm headed to do now. They're just gonna do my eyebrows. I've actually waxed my face this morning. Um, like my lip and 
my sideburn I should be getting in stable light soon um, I did that myself this morning because I wanted to save money and that's easy like the bigger patches to me are just easy to do eyebrows though are like a skill I y'all seen enough videos of me doing struggle brows and trying to figure out how to how to do that myself it has not worked for me so I'm gonna leave eyebrows strictly to professionals so I'm gonna let them do that today let me switch y'all since I'm done now maybe that'll adjust a little bit um so yeah eyebrows really need to be done then I have to go to Apple I have to go to Apple today my Apple watch which I literally live in and live by it's randomly stopped working earlier this week so I've been working out without it um I'm gonna go by to see if they can fix it number one and then I also want to look at the 14 trying to see if I want to get the 14 and I really 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 need a new laptop um so I need to look at the laptop to see if I need an air or a pro or whatever it may be that might be like my Christmas gift to myself. I mean, my laptop right now, literally, probably it's almost 10 years old. It's a MacBook Air, but I feel like I got it right after grad school. But it's to the point now when I edit a video, I have to like clear the laptop off to edit a video. It's really bad. Like my storage is bad, everything's bad. It runs slow, all that. So I'm gonna look at that today. Don't wanna go to the mall, <sighs> but that's what the Apple Store is. So I'm gonna try to go in and out. Do not pass go, do not look, I might look around. But I really hope they can fix my watch. And I really want to find a laptop. I don't know. If you have the 14, let me know if I need it. I have a 12. Um, clearly, I create content on my phone. So I'm like, if the camera is that much more amazing or the content is going to look like way better, then I can do it. But I'm just so iffy because I know I just feel like Apple be trying to get you with these new phones. And I want to make sure it really makes a difference. So let me know if you have a 14, if I need her. Yeah, let me know. I'm excited for my birthday next week. I feel like I have a lot of stuff I need to get done. Um, I'm going to do a total rebrand. Especially like with new hair and new place. And obviously like I'm single now. Like it just feels like I'm really stepping into a new era. 30 I feel like was a super transitional evolution kind of year. So I want my branding to reflect that. So this may be one of the last, if not the last video of the can we talk. Yeah, I know, let me the can we talk bounce, but maybe the last one. I'm still trying to decide exactly what I'm gonna do. Look at this nail. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a rebrand. I gotta find the song and all that stuff for it still. Just planning content for my birthday, like what my birthday reel is gonna be and stuff like that. Trying to really be on it and really be focused on getting everything done. And with like my other job, making sure I get that stuff out the way. Cause once I'm off my birthday, I do not work on my birthday. Once I'm off, I'm off. That's it. So I want to make sure I kind of, you know, set myself up to be able to be done with that. But yeah, I'm here early because I have the errands to run and stuff. We're going to go, I have to go, oh, I have to go to the liquor store. Yeah. And I have to like pack my bag for the festival. It's a long all day festival. I just need to see like, can I bring my camera in there? All that kind of stuff. Dang. So yeah, let me go get these eyebrows done because my eyebrows don't grow much, but what has grown is bad. I know if you fight kung fu, but I go fight for you. I got my eyes on you. You got fights on you. I know if you die for you, ladies, but I live my life for you. I got my eyes on you. You got fights on you. Yeah, I got my all right, y'all, I'm back. Uh, quick little errands. It's like afternoon time. My sister's actually working, so I don't know exactly when she'll get here. Um, couldn't get my watch fixed. They're saying I need to have to like send it in or whatever, but basically paying for it to get fixed would almost be the same as just getting a new one. But I think I'm gonna hold off because like I said, I wanna get the 14, which I'm literally like, you probably can't see that, but I'm literally on the Apple site or the site right now trying to see how soon I get the 14? The thing that's been holding me up is like, I want to get it now. I don't want to have to wait till November or whatever, but I want to get a phone and I need a new laptop because this MacBook Air is holding on for dear life. So I will probably try to get a new MacBook Air or Pro or whatever, a new MacBook Pro like for myself for Christmas. I do have a desktop that I don't really use. I want to see about that for editing, but I just don't feel like that's going to be most convenient especially if i'm like traveling or kind of on the go but i'll see but yeah so basically long story short the watch is just not my priority i love the watch it's very convenient especially for working out and stuff but 
I'm not spending another $300 on a watch when I can put that towards a phone or a computer or something a little bit more useful. The watch is useful for my re like regular everyday life, but the phone and the computer I'm looking at is an investment in my business and me and my brand. So I really want to get those up and running because the guy was like going on about how good the camera on the 14 is. So got to get that ASAP. But yeah, so I did that. Did my eyebrows uh, just to give me some shape. It's crazy what a little wax can do. Um... I want to, because I want to be able to fill them in and stuff for the festival. I'm not doing crazy makeup for the festival this weekend, but I want to do a little something. And I'm trying to learn how to do a winged eyeliner for my birthday. I got some new products. Actually, let me show you guys. I got some new products. I went to Sephora and got some stuff. My thought process was, instead of paying somebody to do my makeup for my birthday, I can just get really like a whole new face of products. Um for the same price I paid to get makeup done. And that's an investment for me. I enjoy doing my makeup, I can learn, blah, 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 blah. Just trying to get back to that. So I got the Milk Makeup New Concealer. It is the, I just had the box. It's a long name, I think it's the Future Fluid. The Future Fluid Milk Makeup Concealer. Um, I got this in the shade 23W. When I tell you, first of all, I saw a reel on this and immediately sold that's influencing because the minute i saw this reel the next day i went out and i bought it and this shade 23w is like skin they put it on my face in sephora shout out to mishka she's a subscriber and she was also who helped me in sephora so that was exciting and it's always fun to be like out and people are like hey i subscribe to your channel skin this is my exact skin tone i want to get another one in a lighter shade um just so i can kind of make it really pop under my eye but i'm going to use my mac pro longwear for that um and then she recommended getting the huda beauty um i got the baby bake but it's her under eye baking powder or her loose powder period this is in the shade kanafa and it's like a golden because what i told her is i've been using sasha buttercup and ben Nye topaz and mixing them together and this really kind of embodies those two colors together and it's in this cute little travel case so when i travel y'all know i love a little weekend trip this will be perfect and then i heard great things about the nars light reflecting foundation i got this in the shade new caledonia my light is all over the place i got this in the shade new caledonia um, I haven't used it yet outside of being in the store and just watching it, but I'm really excited to use it because, again, she matched me and it looked really great. Like, it was giving skin immediately. So, first time I've been to Sephora and they really matched my color well. So, I am going to do a little face. I'm going to try to wake up early tomorrow and do these hauls. So, I don't know if this will come out before the hauls or not, but either way. Um, someone asked me if I was going to do any kind of, like apartment tour kind of stuff probably not i mean when i'm vlogging and i move around the house enough y'all will kind of get the gist of the space in the apartment and like the balcony i have an astro turf out there and stuff like that so i feel like that'll be enough sorry i'm looking at my plants i'm a plant mom now updates in life life updates i'm a plant mom now i have a couple girls who are this is bertha she is a white bird of paradise. She's flourishing. Look at her opening. These are her two pets. These are fake plants. So we're not going to really acknowledge those. But um, I also got a money tree. My friend got me a money tree. Her name is Flo. But I'm proud of myself because I said I wanted plants. And I want to get some hanging. Like I want to put one from the corner over here and things like that. But I'm trying to also make sure I don't try to do everything at once. I mean, I kind of went into that mode already. But... Like, I just got this great bar cart from Facebook Marketplace. Come on with the light. Um, Facebook Marketplace. This girl was literally, like, basically giving away. It was, like, 25 bucks. So, when I go to the liquor store later today, I'm going to stock up for that. I feel like I'm talking a lot. So, I'm going to go. <laughs> um, and then, hopefully, next time you see me, my sister will be here. Or we'll be doing brunch before the festival tomorrow. I'm not sure which one it'll be. But I'll see you guys. <laughs> My sister's here. Why wouldn't it focus? My off Say hi to the vlog, it don't matter. This is real life. She's here with all of her stuff. She's gonna be here for like 10 days. I don't know, a long time. It is 10 days. It's literally 10 days. Next Sunday is the 17th, yes. So she's here. I mean, you're an adult. We are getting prepped. Jasmine Sullivan is gonna be at the festival on Sunday. I'm watching her tiny desk, I'm really excited. 
Honestly, when Jasmine comes on Sunday, I'm probably gonna roll on the ground. I'm expecting to just black out completely. We're trying to pack like our festival bags, liquid IV, bug spray, um, we got some black girl sunscreen, Ashley made a whole list. We got rose water, fans, I gotta charge my fan, Clorox wipes, flask, all the things, goodie powder. Trying to be as prepared as we can be. Golly, hotline. Trying to be as prepared as we can be. I did go to the grocery store to kind of stock up on some stuff. Um, Cause we're gonna do like a little lunch brunch pregame before we go so we get all right here together. So that should be good. She was at work all day. She's work drunk, but I think we're inside for the night. I'm pretty sure we're inside for the night. Why are you reading like that? I don't know what I've got if I'm allergic to something. Take a Benadryl. You look snatched. Don't stand like that. I got another, um, I got this from Fabletics. I've been doing Fabletics PR. I got this onesie? onesie. Yeah, it's like a pajama onesie, so I'm gonna have to plan some content for that. Maybe like a girls' night in the house, kind of real with that. Ooh, skin is skinning. But yeah, I need to figure this out, get situated for tomorrow, read all the rules. I don't think I can take my camera, or I can take my camera, but I can't take a tripod, so that's kind of pointless. I'm gonna just try to vlog on my phone. I bought a power pack, but then I realized 90% like these don't fit our, I, Apple did this on purpose. Is it, uh, it's not a C port or whatever. Yeah. It's USB. I have a C, oh, for my watch. Either way, we're gonna figure it out, but I think that's it for tonight. I really doubt we're going anywhere, so. Next time I'll be at the festival. <laughs> this shirt is like. Good morning. My face probably looks crazy because I had on sunscreen for my morning walk. I just walked Taffy um, Saturday morning. It's pretty early. Ashley and I have been up since like five for no reason at all. Um, I just walked Taffy. I'm about to like wash my face and all that kind of stuff because I need to film before the festival. I got to figure out this area. So I have my sign. I have my wrap. I have a little mannequin or a little Malibu shirt. My sunscreen looks crazy. Um, but I just got to figure out. I don't think I've done a haul here yet. I've just done like a glasses haul. And I think that's the only video I've done in this apartment, besides like chemical peel. Yeah, so I just gotta kinda figure my setup. Um, I'm gonna do a little face, not a super face, because we are doing a festival that's gonna be outside all day. But I wanna look cute for the video. Um, I'm gonna try to get her to do the haul with me. We'll see, cause she got some stuff too. But yeah, we're gonna do breakfast, and then, like I said, have some snacks and stuff. Just trying to get the day started. I've been up, like I said, for a while, and I can't lay in bed for a long time, so I was just like, let me just start moving. So I got my green juice, got my water, because we're gonna be drinking today. So, it's Saturday, brought some film, content, it's gonna be content in for the month of October, so let's do that. I have a couple hauls on here that I need to do, but let's just start with Shein, doing the Shein haul today, so go ahead and get ready for that, and get this sunscreen off, yikes. Okay, next up is this super cute sweater. I'm laughing because I, I call everything whole clothes and I'm always like, whole clothes are not, they're like season inclusive. So we gonna find a way to get jazzy in every season. So this is very thottom to me. So this is a one shoulder. Okay, so I just finished filming my sheet and haul. I ended up doing a full face by accident. It's like, you know when you put on like one thing, or you do one thing and you're like, oh, well I can't do a full eyebrow if I don't put on concealer or I can't. So it spiraled. But I just finished doing the Shein haul. Um, this is Halara stuff, so I have to do a Halara haul too. But I did the Shein haul and now I can actually, I just wanted to just get it out the way so we could actually make noise. Ooh, my face is good. Um, play music, like get everything actually situated and started and just get that done. Um, I actually think I'm gonna wear this Trying to figure out if I want to do leggings or shorts or what. But I'm also excited because I got my, apparently having a hookah in your house is a very Atlanta thing. I learned this this week. Cause everybody I know has a hookah in their house. So I didn't realize the rest of the world doesn't do that. But I don't have a gas stove in my new apartment. So I got a single eye burner, Amazon. Got new shisha and stuff. So I'm gonna have a little mini brunch at the house. Got some champagne for my little bar set up. So we're gonna go ahead and get the day started. 
and pack these bags. In my head, I feel like there's so much I need to prepare and have ready for the festival. But I feel like there's probably not. And then we got Ashley making breakfast. It's always nice when you have the help. Do you call me the help? <laughs> I did. <laughs> are you gonna say, hey? Look how cute these Fashion Nova sweatpants are. I've had these in my like wait list cart forever. I know, and now I have to go buy them before I link them and then people buy them. I'm about to go order these right now. In my head, they're not gonna look as cute on me though. I feel like I'm gonna get them and look like I'm wearing like my granddad's sweatpants. They flare. I know, but I don't know. She just has a very, she has a more like carefree, loose style. So I feel like sometimes stuff like that just looks lazy on me. Just like you probably feel like a hoochie and stuff that I be wearing. So, we'll see. But yeah, let me throw on some clothes, get out the sweater dress, and then we gonna get the day started. Okay, but I have a couple other hats. I'm sure. Okay, so I can go here. Uh huh. With a hoop. Okay. That could actually be cute with a hoop. Yeah. Or I can go. This is God is dope, but it's not the tan one. I can go like here. Uh huh. I like that better than the black. Okay. I don't know why this is here. I just never worn it, and it was in my hat box. Or I can go here. I feel like if you do that one, you might as well do the cream one. Well, it's not about, it's about which hat you like more. Uh, between the cream and the jeans. Cream and the jeans. Not the patent bucket. No. Okay. <laughs> or no hat. Or no hat. I mean, you need some for your face. I do? I was like, yeah, because I'm sure it's, I'm thinking that it's no. I mean, Shit, I, I got a full beat on. Okay, so now between the denim and the cream. So, cream. I like the festival that's on the hat. I mean, but it's like a black food festival. It's not like it's like Coachella and I gotta have like French boots. So, I still like it. Cause I want what looks cutest. Okay, like, this yeah. is cute. I'm about to say, I think the cap, baseball cap is like the obvious choice. Or here. I have a baseball cap. With a hoop. Yeah. Either way, a hoop to give it some, cause I'm all here. Cause you don't have like the shiny necklace or whatever. Oh, I was gonna put jewelry on. Oh, okay. You, those aren't the earrings you're wearing? No. Oh, okay. Well then I guess I'll be able to tell. I would say, yeah, I'll go, I'll go do a hoop. Just trying to get our outfits together. The only thing I'm worried about with the baseball cap is I'm, I look like, I don't look like a mom running earrings. We are still yeah, do the extreme hat. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I'm wearing that baseball cap. I look like a mom. Like yeah. not, how not this, I'm wearing this is basically what I wore yesterday with the plaid shirt. I still want it to look fashion purpose. Yeah, the hat is definitely, yeah. More intentional. It's more fashionable, fashionably intentional. Did you see the shoes with it though? It's yes. not weird with the shoes with it? I don't think so. I think that looks too much. Yeah. More intentional? Yeah. Okay. Instead of like, I'm grabbing something because I haven't got my hair done yet. Yeah, that's what I don't look like. Yeah. That's the reason I be doing a full beat because I don't want it to look like she just got out of here. Yeah. Here is the final look we went with. She's getting very festival, but I have my Skims bodysuit in case it gets like too warm. I want to take this off. Halara leggings with pockets so I can have like my cards, phone, everything like on me. Got my Yeezys, easily the most comfortable sneakers I own outside of my Asics. My new Shein oversized top, hoops, this hat Forever 21, and my sunglasses from the hair store. So, she's cute. Definitely gotta get a good picture today. Definitely gotta get a good festival picture, but yeah, I like this. And it's very comfortable, most importantly, cause we're gonna be on our feet all day. Braid. Oh fuck! <laughs> Everybody has on plaid shirts. I am weak. <laughs> like I gotta oh, see what Ebony has on. Crazy? Everybody. I went to Walmart. That's and cute. I see one like, like, and I was like, ooh, and I was like, oh shit, I got this in my. Please greet my dog. I, I 
put it on. Oh, tell, tell, please tell, greet her for she loses. What did they do to you, girl? What? My girl got a haircut. Yes. So okay, it's the bad girl, bitch month. It's the bad bitch month. Yes. You look good, girl. All the Afro puffs. Don't do her. Took some years off you. Don't do her. And some pounds. Right. It's giving snatched. I Go ahead and bring your back up so you can start to relax. Yeah. Who, me? Girl, you know I would never. Let me know how long it would take you to do this. Hey, not my black girl destiny. Oh, wait, let me get you. I would be bald with a fade before I had lost. <laughs> <laughs> like a literal shit. That like you should have did before you cut your hair. Just so you just cut it it's off. It's too permanent. Exactly. You gonna cut it off anyway. Fall locks do me just well. And fall locks stretch me out yellow. Like I get fall locks be like, all right. I was, so scared. I was so scared. I was so scared to get pull up that I got real up. I was so scared of the pull up. I was, I was like, I don't know why. I'm gonna keep trying to get my hair done like every three weeks. Cause Child, I went ball trying to take the damn pull up out. That's what I was scared of. So release your mind. Release your hair. I did. Look, I ain't gonna pay you. Release your hair. Release your hair. You're like, I would be so nervous if I had to have a fresh weekend. Girl, I'd be so excited when my hair does not look fresh. The one, I mean, like yeah, the shit, maybe she is fine. Right. Let's take these shots so we can go because it is almost 3 o'clock. I'm not passing these shots out. That's, come on, get shots. Girl, I was on bottom, girl, walk them around. I was on walk them around, but then I was like, all right. Hey, can I put my bottom first? Wait, wait, wait. Absolutely not. This ghetto ass piece of shit. Y'all already missed the free hookah. It was free hookah before one. God damn. <laughs> like the damn. Y'all already missed the free hookah. Oh, wait. Oh, that's Felicia's name. I hate this I'm going to say, who else is that now? What's mine? Well, that, that ain't got you said that's what I No, that's your Oh. Look, I'm not sure. Tag me this so I can repost it because I got one. Hold on. Let me make sure my pants are not too old. I would like to be monetized. I would like to be monetized this video. That would be awesome. I didn't know that was you. I didn't know that was you. I would love to put advertisements on this video. Cheer. Oh. Look at chicken cream. You got my granny. All right, now. Cheers. 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 So, we are just now inside of it's always the festival. I feel no safety. That was possibly the lowest grade of security. The line was long, as like it was ridiculous, but the lowest, nobody opened my bag, nobody checked my ID, nobody looked at my ticket. The lowest grade of security I've ever encountered at a festival. We're going to have a blast. I'm just like... Do y'all care about our safety? Look at all the people. You know the words to love, I got to give it certified. Make it the toughest, long get time for ride, girl. Baby boy, you stay on my mind. Good morning. We had a time last night. We survived. <laughs> it's part of what survived. We survived day one of mu uh, one music fest. I don't even think I know I didn't actually. I didn't vlog that much yesterday. I think I was in Alexa Volume One. I think I was in shock because it was so different than last year, and it was so overcrowded, and there were so little structure to where to go and where to sit and i mean also we were drinking and stuff so i was just i just want to keep everything in my bag stay focused make sure i didn't lose the people i was with like i wasn't really thinking about vlogging yesterday today should be um a little bit more organized i think since we know what to expect um i'm sure the festival too probably was like okay we got to fix some things um and today we actually have a lot of people we want to see yesterday we were kind of just like we bought a ticket, so let's just show up and hang out. But today we actually have, I think, a few people. I wish they did Kirk Franklin again. Kirk Franklin last year on Sunday. Yeah, today's Ty Tribute. Um, I don't know Ty Tribute as much as I know Kirk Franklin, but Kirk Franklin last year on Sunday was great. Um, let's see the schedule. So today we got juvenile at 245 saucy santana at four pastor troy chloe ashanti city girls jazz and sullivan it's today's a good lineup today i'm definitely wearing my asics um we're gonna clean up a little bit i've been cleaning up trying to like get the house organized from the little pregame yesterday and just get ready 
do some laundry, eat breakfast real quick, and just kind of get ready for the day. Definitely gonna try to get there earlier today than we did. Hopefully that'll help with the crowd a little bit. We'll see though. We are finally about to head out for day two of One Music Fest. Here's what today's outfit is giving. Very similar to yesterday, literally. Skins, bodysuit, leggings, plaid, another hat, and my sunglasses. Very comfortable. Today worked, I mean yesterday worked well, so I figured just do it again. Hopefully, we're getting there a lot earlier today. Um, they just opened like an hour ago, barely. So we're getting there a lot earlier. Hopefully the line is not crazy. Crowds are not crazy. I'm not going to take my camera, even though clearly based on yesterday's security, I can. But I'm just going to use my phone. Try to get some more footage today. I think we're, it is madness in here. We're just getting everything situated. Say hey, Taffy. All right. We are headed to the festival. So we just parked. We did the thing where Atlanta has everything going on this weekend at once. There's a game. It's Pride Weekend. It's One Music Fest. It's homecoming. There's a lot of things going on. So we had to park so far away. So we have about a 30 minute walk to the actual park um, before we get there. So we're just gonna have to entertain ourselves for 30 minutes basically. <laughs> but we might actually try to go see the Pride Parade or go to like walk through Pride, but still not at the festival. I was taking this girl next door when her parents went out. She can say, hey boy. So we are in the parade, I mean in the festival now. We went through security, they let me get everything in. So <laughs> the lady actually squeezed my flask and was like, you about to go on an adventure. But we're in, day two. Oh, I know. All right, y'all, it is nighttime. Clearly, y'all know I like to go to bed greased up. Got my pajamas on. We're gonna end the vlog here, get ready for my birthday week. Um, I'm definitely gonna have lots of reels and stuff during birthday week, vlogging. I feel like it's just hard to enjoy my birthday and be surprised on my birthday and be caught up with emotions in my friends on my birthday if I'm like trying to film it and get the right angle. So I'll see, but definitely reels. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I had a blast at One Music Fest. All disorganization, all crowds and safety concerns aside, great way to bring in the celebration. My sister's here, all that kind of stuff. Now I can get my nails done. Oh yeah, so we lost two nails to One Music Fest. Two nails, um, but yeah, so got my nails done I can get my nails done I can get my hair done really excited for that definitely if you haven't seen it already I'm gonna do uh, a cute video or something on my Instagram I'm excited to get my hair done all that stuff pick my dress over alterations everything so I don't know maybe I'll vlog that but I'll try to get this up as soon as possible thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next video